Uh, my name is Chris Jaworski from uh, Bicton College, which is near Exeter in Devon. And we've come up to the machinery show here to demonstrate my students' skills in rebuilding the uh, grey Ferguson T20. So the lads are now taking it apart, ready for the timed rebuild. Uh, and we're competing against another college, Lackham College in Wiltshire, uh, to see who's the fastest time in rebuilding the tractor. The clock will stop when they actually start the tractor. Um, student numbers on the engineering courses um, have risen in the last probably four or five years and we're seeing a, a sort of 50% rise in students wanting to do a, a very practical vocational course. The National Diploma in Engineering that we do is equivalent to two A-levels and the students find it very easily to uh, get employment after the third year of the course when they finish with us at the college. So it's, uh, it's a good course to do uh, if you want good career prospects. Are you finding females as well as male students? Um, unfortunately we don't get many female students on the course um, which is a shame really because they do make sort of very thorough and uh, methodical engineers. Um, it's not uh, all about heavy lifting anymore because a lot of the machines are involved with the electronics so it's more understanding uh, how you actually use diagnostic equipment to, to find the fault rather than actually manually lifting large gearbox casings and such around. Are you still struggling with sort of um, the agricultural sort of uh, people think agriculture is all muck and mud? Oh, right. it, it's quite technical now. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Um, agriculture's changed considerably. If you look at the tractors over the last um, five to eight years, um, the, the development to uh, meet the emissions, uh, if, you, if you look at the road vehicles and how they've progressed in the last 10 years, the tractors are now catching them up. So it's not, it's not just simply a, a, a sort of mucky farming industry anymore. It's a very sophisticated machine. Um, the equipment that the farmers are used, even, even a simple muck spreader or fertilizer spreader is full of electronics. And even the tractors can be controlled by GPS and they've got self-steering uh, and satellite guidance to actually guide them across the field. And obviously if you're paying uh, a lot of money for fertilizer or chemicals, that can save you hundreds of pounds uh, uh, a day on, on non-wasted uh, chemicals. So agriculture engineering is probably more exciting than sort of motor vehicle engineering? Um, agriculture engineering is very variable. Um, you're, you're not stuck doing the same thing day in, day out. One day you could be repairing a tractor, next day you could be out in the field setting a combine up, brand new combine up for work. Next day you might be um, installing a grain uh, installation in a farm. So it's, it's, it changes every day and every week.